how do you make sure you're not kind of pigeonholing yourself into one client um, and not only speaking to that one and like rejecting those other clients that you still might want? Okay, so a client has to see what you're trying to sell in order to want to buy it. Okay, so if if you're always putting out the same imagery of your venue, uh, say you're a barn wedding venue and you just put all of the same rustic style imagery out all of the time, then you're going to keep attracting those same kind of people. If you want to attract a different sector of the market, well, get some photos, get some imagery of something completely different and start putting that out as well, because then people won't just say, oh, these people only do rustic weddings. I don't fit into that category. Therefore, I can't go there. They see, oh, well, actually what I want to achieve, this industrial style wedding or this boho theme. Oh, I can see that in that venue. I can see how that can work. I can see how that can look. Therefore, I will make contact with them. So we find that couples, they're not very imaginative. They don't necessarily know what they want. Like one of the questions that couples hate being asked is, so what do you want for your wedding? Because they don't know. They, you know, they might have some grand ideas, but they don't really know. Whereas if we start to show them something, then they want that. So if you suddenly decided you wanted to have loads of gothic inspired weddings, if you started putting out photo shoots of brides in black dresses or really alternative decor in your venue, you will start to attract more of those people. That's how marketing works.